ծանցության եւ ծանր բահերին քեզ եմ հիշում դույմ վահանես իսկ ես քովկան հաթանակի Good afternoon. It's great to be here with you today to share these few moments together. Let's begin as we always do by proclaiming our faith in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, theoretical and practical. What do these two words have in common? Well, they revolve around a subject, but one is very thought-provoking, theoretical, and the other practical means you put your life into it and you do something with it. For instance, in the field of science, there's theoretical physics. You know, these are concepts that maybe stimulate the mind, that maybe do not exist in reality, but in theory they are there. You do the mathematics and they're there. So in theoretical physics, you can do all kinds of magical things, but in practicality we know that there are certain terms there is gravity it falls down and we know that that gravi- gravitational force pulls things together and in theory you've got well opportunities to maybe digress from those th- from those practical moments i want to go the other way around How about theory and practicality does practicality sort of say that yes the theory does work For instance in physics when we talk about the speed of light no one's gone the speed of light but we've measured it we we have abilities to measure and we know that light travels at something like 186,000 miles a second and so we are able to use those terms to define how we live today the same way with religion and especially in christianity when i come to you and i talk about armenian christianity today it's about taking those theoretical moments from our faith and applying them into our life today armenian christianity today i mean it's very easy right how do you take those 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 concepts for instance faith hope love we talk about love all the time don't we but what is that love we know we have different feelings we have emotions towards partners towards friends we have well we have love of objects too right we love an object we love, i love my pair of glasses i could say right but those loves mean different things to different people and in different circumstances So in a sense that love is a theoretical idea how do we make it into the practical and many times in the church we get criticized because people say well you are all about theory i mean after all you look at the saints and these saints are uh these saints are people like you and me but they rose to the challenge well i'm going to center around a saint whose feast is next sunday And the reason why I'm doing it today is because in the Armenian church we have this period of of fasting, okay? And today happens to be the Paregentan, the day of great living before the feast of Astvazadzin. Astvazadzin is a beautiful word, a long, a mouthful. It means the mother of God. What? God has a mother? Well, we use this term because of course Christ is God incarnate and so Christ had a means by which he came to this world and it was through the blessed virgin Mary now we talk about theory about the virginity of Mary we talk about the theory about Christ coming into the world you know these are concepts they've evolved through the centuries they've been brought over to us but how do we apply that in our lives what can we do to make that real in our lives today that's the important test especially in a world that's filled and plagued with evil with difficulties with wars with famines and we say that well this is very nice that you talk about love it's very nice that you talk about saint mary having a baby but how does that apply to my life today i have difficulties in my life so let's not look at the big things let's look at the issues of health of relationships all kinds of things and you say how do i apply it so just as in physics there is theoretical physics and applied physics 
in the same way in religion, in our faith, there is theoretical faith, theoretical religion, and of course, applied religion. What we have over here, Armenian Christianity today, is the application of that. So, next week is the Feast of St. Mary. St. Mary is, if you've gone to any Armenian church, in fact, I went to some of the oldest churches recently in Armenia and in historic Armenia, and in the centerpiece on all the altars happens to be St. Mary holding the child Jesus. Now, so that's the centerpiece, and we, we revere the saints. We don't worship saints. Saints are not uh, God. Saints are people like you and me, okay? They have, they have skin and bones, and they have temptations. They have desires of the heart, and they've been able to conquer those trappings, okay? I'm not going to say they conquered those feelings, but they've conquered the trappings that prevented them from becoming all they can be. St. Mary, for instance, she's visited by an angel. I'm going to read this passage to you because it's, uh, we, we can uh, draw off of it. It comes to us from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1. And it says, In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to the city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph. Ooh, all kinds of details here, right? He was of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hail, O favored one, the Lord is with you. He comes to, G to Mary and says, Hail, the Lord is with you. Well, what does that mean? She was greatly troubled at this saying. The Bible says that Mary was troubled. She's a person like you and me. She's troubled. Didn't accept it. What, what do you mean? She says, I'm troubled by this. He says, because she considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call him Jesus. And it goes on to, to talk about Mary, but here's Mary's response. Mary said to the angel, Behold, I am the handmaiden of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel disappeared from her. Theoretical ideas, right? Angels coming, people talking, virgin conceiving. Now, how do we apply that in our lives? Well, we have this beautiful week in front of us before the Feast of Astadzadzin, before the Feast of St. Mary. And this is what I'm going to ask you to do. We have fasting days, okay? And we usually talk about abstaining from certain foods. Let's put that on hold for a minute, okay? Because I know that people do all kinds of fasting and different ways of fasting. But what I'd like you to do is engage in the words that St. Mary says. Let's take the theory and put it into our lives. Do you see that the call is not just to St. Mary? The call is to all of us. Do you understand when, when, when we're talking about a saint over here, we look at her story and we say, what can I get for my life today and how can I apply it in my life today? And of course, here's the answer right here. Because God is talking to each of us. God is asking us to conceive Christ. What is Christ? Well, the famous uh, theologian of the Armenian church, the great, great hierarch of the Armenian church, St. Nerses Shnorali, he says it so beautifully. He says, Ser Anun Jesus. The name of love is Jesus. God is talking to each and every one of us and asking us to conceive love. In other words, to have love in our hearts and to bring that love into this world. And what do we do? Just like St. Mary, well, how can this be? I've never known a man. I've, I, I, I'm a virgin. I can't, I can't conceive. We come up with our own excuses, don't we, right? Well, I have some bitterness. I've had some troubles. I have some health issues. How can I find that love? I have been so let down by the men and women in my life. I have been slapped in the face. I can't give that love. We find ways to answer answer God in the negative. And what does the angel say? He says, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid to bear love. Because, you know what? Love stings, but don't worry about it. God is with you. And the answer we have is the same answer that Mary has. There's only one thing you can say to God. is yes, let it be to me 
according to your will. That's what God demands of each of us. This trust, this faith, to be able to say, yes, I am going to love. I'm going to share my life. I'm going to give. And sometimes it hurts. Sometimes it stings. But in that stinging, in that hurt, we find the meaning and purpose of life. Our lives begin to have true meaning, meaning that is very fulfilling. Yes, there's stings and there's hurts in life, but you know what? The fulfilled life looks at those stings as opportunities to say that, you know, I am alive. If I hurt, it means I'm alive. And so when we look at this, I'm, what, what I'm asking you is to take a look at this as this week's meditation in preparing for next week's Feast of Astvazadzin, the Feast of St. Mary, the Feast of, of the Assumption of St. Mary. We'll talk about that next week. In preparation for that, let's look at opportunities where God is talking to us and asking us to have love in our hearts. Did someone hurt you? That's basically your virginity, right? You're saying, no, oh, I can't do that. I'm a virgin. No, I can't do that because that's hurt me. Take an opportunity to say yes to God. Even though I'm hurt, I will still continue to love. Has someone said something evil to you? Have someone, has someone played a trick on you that has hurt you so much that you just find it difficult to love anymore? These are opportunities to say, you know what? I am alive. God has given me the blessing of this life. God has given me this opportunity to once again engage in that practice of love, of sharing, of giving. Sometimes I've run into people who say, I'm tired of giving. You know, that, that, they're very legitimate way of saying it. Of course, it's very tiring. You give and you give, and if you don't receive something back, you say, oh man, you know, I'm tired of it. You have that right to do it. That's like St. Mary saying, what do you mean? I can't do this. I am incapable of having this child. It's the same way. I'm incapable of loving. No, God says, do not be afraid. Don't be afraid. Go ahead. Love. And what St. Mary says is the answer that I'm asking you to give this week. As we prepare for the feast of Astvazadzin, say yes to God. Say yes. I am your handmaiden. I am your servant. I'm ready to do it. Because the blessings that are going to come next week at the Feast of Asvazadzin, when you go into the churches and when you share in that beautiful ritual that we call the Holy Divine Liturgy, the practice of taking Christ within us, you understand that if Christ is in you, you have only one thing that you can do, is to share that Christ with others, to share that love with others. And that's the beginning. I talked about some big things, about wars, famines, all kinds of difficulties. It all begins with us. Us accepting the call to love. Go ahead. Take the chance. Say yes to God. St. Mary did it. And it doesn't mean that she had an easy life. She had to watch her son. She had to watch her love be crucified on a cross, be tortured on a cross, be betrayed, be humiliated. But still, she said yes to God. Because once you have that ability to love, you need to share that with people. It's not yours to keep. And take advantage of this opportunity. The sting, the hurt, they just mean that you're alive. Say yes to God. Put a smile on your face. Wash your face and say that I'm a new creature. I am a new person. I have that ability to love. No more excuses. I want to love. I want to bear Christ, just as St. Mary did. St. Mary bore Christ and gave Christ to the world, just as St. Mary gave love to the world. You and I are called to give love, give of ourselves to this world. I look forward to being with you next week when we will examine St. Mary, the assumption of St. Mary, in a very unique way, in a practical way, taking the theory and applying it into our lives in next week's episode of Armenian Christianity Today. Until then, I remind you, do everything, including this exercise, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.